by you guys. Callie and I are basically just going to be doing our makeup together and you guys are going to be following along and seeing what we do. Yeah. There's a lot of steps. This is our full glam. This isn't like natural light, just FYI. This is more specifically like how I do my makeup when we film. I don't wear, fun fact, I actually don't wear eyelashes every day, but when you're filming and you have like crappy store lighting and studio lights, you want your face to like pop. So yeah. obviously we're gonna do a little bit more. Everyone has different techniques, yeah. different products they use, different amounts that they use. There's no right or wrong way. No. Makeup is an art, it's self-expression, yeah. and it's not like, uh, there's no right or wrong, you know? No. So I, mean, I put mascara on my lips. Okay, I could see why some people have comments on that, <laughs> but I know. It'll just be like a little hangout session. Yeah. But you guys, before we get started, we have a challenge for all of you watching. We want to see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. We hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then we want you to comment below. Okay, what is one makeup product that you can't live without? Probably my Benefit Lip Mine is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's yeah. my favorite product ever in the whole wide world. My mouth hurts a little bit because like, I bit this out of my mouth twice one time. Oh. No, like a little while. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, we have our makeup on right now from the video. So if you would like to see how we do these looks, then keep on watching because we're about to show you guys right now. Ready? Let's get started! Woo! All right, guys, so as you can see, we have no makeup on right now. Callie and I, we decided we're going to kind of do this with you guys together. Yeah. My first step of my makeup routine is I like to go in with a primer. And in case you guys don't know what primer is, uh, this is basically the base for all your makeup. It's going to make everything last longer. It doesn't so. really like stick. Exactly. So my favorite one, I actually use two. The two that I use, okay, first I go in with the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. Um, and I usually, I focus this like on my cheek and nose area because it's supposed to shrink your pores. Um, and then I also do the Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer and I put this on my T-zone. And then what I use is, I've been using this one, it's Smashbox, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. I did use this one for a long time, but like, as you can see, like, it's all up there, and then it's like so thick. What's the brand? This is Milk. This is a Hydro Grip Primer. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go into this, and just put this all over my face. This is like skin colored. I mean, like, yes, it's makeup, but it's like, you won't even be able to tell that we put anything on, because like I said, I know when I was younger, before I really got into makeup, I always thought primer was just pointless, you know? Like, what's the point? Because you can't see it. But it really does make a huge difference. If I don't use primer, my makeup will be melted off my face, like, in a few hours. I mean, maybe not literally, but it just doesn't look as good. And then, like I said, I focused this. So, this reminds me, it looks like the Drunk Elephant Goldie Drops. And it just gives you a nice glow. So... <laughs> Put it on my T-zone. I'm trying to get like as much as out as I can because I really like this one. But guys, like, look at her. She's like gone. You have to get so a new sad. one. Milk makeup. I wonder what made them call the line of makeup milk. Like milk. I love this primer. I'm so bummed that it's like gone. She's not coming out. She's gone. Like she's done for. Also guys, do you like our shirts? I'm Barbie. She's um, brats. Brat. Because I can be a brat sometimes. <laughs> when you were a kid, what did you play with more? Barbies or brats? So guys, the next step in my makeup routine is concealer. I swear by this concealer. It is the best one ever. It is the Tarte Shape Tape. It's amazing. Totally worth the money. And I focus this under my eyes. And I know it looks like I'm wearing a lot, but you know, this is full glam. And then I use this Milani Concealer Perfect Foundation. I put a lot on, right? And then I take this like little brush here and I just like really make it like blotchy. Is it just like kind of like spread around? Trust me guys, I don't keep it like this. Please trust. It's like a trust the process kind of situation. Disclaimer also, like what might seem like too much makeup or a lot of makeup to some people, like isn't a lot to others. So, uh, I mean, this is just personal preference. You know, if you're watching this video, we're not saying like do exactly what we're doing, but this is our full glam makeup routine. I don't do this much every day. And even if I did, I do. it's like, who cares? Live your life. 
I do because my school, like, <clears throat> like the school, like I, it all wears off. Like, I'm like, yeah. So guys, look, I'm kind of insane right now. Oh my god! Yeah. Um, but then I take this beauty blender and I wet it. That's why it's so gigantic. And I like blend this out because like it looks really good when I did do it this way. This is my new hack. Like, look how nice that looks now. I'm shade 01, creamy vanilla. Speaking of shades, guys, okay, my next step is foundation. I use two. Um, they're both by Tarte. It's the face tape. So um, I use the majority of this one. It is 20B light beige. And then I go in with like a tiny drop of the 29 light medium neutral. This one is my summer foundation. This is my winter one. Yeah. But if I just use this one, I'm like ghostly. So see guys, I just, I go on the back of my hand and I do that and then blend it. I'm actually being a little new because like I still have a little bit of lace that's like lighter and I'm like low key running out of my concealer. So I'm just gonna like put some of this under my eyes. I'm running low on concealer. We love that for me, don't we? I keep all my makeup brushes in this little cup that says yeah. flawless. I believe this brush is by Ego Tools, and I'm just going to take this to blend out my foundation. And my next up is concealer. I use like two now because, again, guys, I'm running like so low on my concealer. Like, I need to like ash, like dig into it. I hate that one time. I was in a rush and I was like running low on concealer and I was like trying to scrape the edges and I was so frustrated. I accidentally broke the stick and then I couldn't get anything out. Like the stick broke inside of it and then I was just screwed. I've done that with mascara before. Really? Like actually broke the thing in half? Yeah, but yep. there's like nothing in it. And I'm kind of glad I broke it. Cause I was, I was in school and my waterline was getting messed up because I do my waterline for my makeup now. And my waterline was getting all messy. And I it was like using my scale to fix my waterline. People have been asking to see our makeup routine for such a long time. And we just never did it before because we're always out doing shopping challenges. All right, guys. So my next step after foundation is I go in with this Makeup Forever. Um, it's translucent, pore minimizing powder. So. My next step is this Essence 16 Hour Lasting Color Powder Foundation. If you guys wonder why I go so much foundation, it's because for some reason, my skin sometimes just like rejects my foundation. It's like, um, I don't feel like that today. You know what you should get? What? You can try that if you want. I have this, um, it's a setting spray by Urban Decay. Or maybe try a new foundation if it doesn't stick on because, I mean, it shouldn't like completely be off your face. And no, it just gets like patchy looking. That sad moment when you realize you have a new breakout. I hate that. Next up for me is bronzer. So Same. I, really? Oh my God, okay. So I use the Park Ave Princess Bronzer by Tarte. I use the Revolution Bronzer by Revolution, duh. I'm Zero One Cool. I use two different brushes for this and you guys will see how I use them in a second. This one is for like my temples, my cheekbones and yeah, mainly those two places. And then I also contour my nose with this bronzer and I use this little, um, I think it's supposed to be an eyeshadow brush. I contour my nose with this and I just like do it with my fingers. You'll see how I do it. I'm shade toasted, if anybody wondering. It's a mini one, it's by Milk. So I just go in with this brush, my. Yeah, so I don't know, Callie, let me know if you agree or disagree with me. I personally think that if you buy expensive makeup brushes, like from Sephora, that is the biggest waste of money. I got this from, honestly, probably the dollar I think store. It's from Target, Eco Tools from Target. I have brushes that are literally from the dollar store, though. Yeah. It literally doesn't matter as long as it's not, like, shedding on your face. I feel like, in a way, yes, but in a way, no, because I feel like actually more because of makeup can save you money, because, like, with a cheaper brush, you have to replenish it. I've never had to do that. I don't like, know. That's just my opinion. Like, I like it because it's not, like, scratchy, but I feel like, like, like makeup brush doesn't really matter where you buy it from. Like, you want to no. buy it from Sephora? Go ahead ahead. But that's your choice, your money. Now I'm going to contour my nose. Same. How I do this, guys? It's, like, really confusing. I'll show you guys. You do two little lines. Yeah, you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to kind of stand back yeah. here, but I just get some on the side of the brush, tap off the excess, and then I just kind of go on the sides like i do this guys let's go i just do the sides of my nose and you have to work it all the way up to your brow bone like underneath your eyebrow and then you do the same thing on the other side so like the tip of your nose and then you just keep going up a little goes a long way you look okay with my new nose yeah i think so you know what i did one time when i was in fifth grade you so shaved I, your eyebrows i had and really, you shaved it off I, yes i used to belong to this like performance troupe and it was publicity picture day and i was like man my eyebrows are like really bushy i want to 
tweeze them, not tweeze them, but I, I just wanted to make them thinner and I was not really the smartest. So I was trying to like go like, okay, this was me. I was trying to like go under and just get like the little, the ones that didn't belong, the ones that I wanted to pluck, but I didn't have tweezers. So I was going like this. And then I was trying to take some off of the edge of my left brow and I accidentally shaved off half my eyebrow. I had like no makeup and mm -hmm. And my mom filled it in with black eyeshadow. All right, guys. So my next step is blush. I actually just got this with you like two Same weeks ago. Now. Oh, there we go. So this is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. Let me just say real quick, a little goes a long way with this. I was using an Ulta blush before and whoo, girl, this is very pigmented. So. so before I used to always use this, but I've kind of been using this less because I've been combining these two blushes. So this one is from Violet Voss. Um, and it's in the shade Make Me Blush. I really love it so much. This one is from, I don't even know. Is it Urban Decay? Um, I have no idea. I don't know if that says. Like, but this shade is in Rosa Blush. So this is like really pigmented. As you can tell, I'm loving it. Let me see how this goes out. I don't know how many more. You just buy more. I don't know why. Well, it came in Ipsy. I don't oh, know where to get it. Oh, I'm sure if you just look up, like, whatever the name is, you could figure it out. Ooh. I have to back up for this step because I, I, I like to see like, what my blush looks like. Before. Yeah, I should have done that because, so, it went up too high for me, like, too much under my Kayla. eye. I'm kind of just Such a little broken now. fixing oh. what I did here. Thanks, Callie. Yeah. No big deal. You just get a, a powder, like, a skin tone. Mm -hmm press powder and you can just fix it. I honestly do it all the time. It's easy to do. That's what I use when like, if I make my brush a little too intense, I just put some of that on top of it. It makes it a little more Yeah, natural. that's what I do. Highlight, highlight, so highlight. I do my highlight in two different steps. So I'm not gonna do my one highlight now, but I do my cheek highlight first and I use the Red Beauty highlight in Enchant. Uh, that's funny. Enchanted to me, you. I also use a Rare Beauty highlight. I think yours is liquid though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, mine is not. This is Enlighten, and um, guys, I put this on the tip of my nose. How about you? Ah, twins! Oh, You're so the one who recommended it. I put a tiny bit on my Cupid's bow. I put some on my nose too, this one. And then I always put it just like underneath my brow bone. It's probably like on, on my like nose bone. I think I'm probably going to do this step off camera like i have to be close to me or i will mess this up so i use the precisely my brow pencil by benefit and i believe i'm in the shade warm light brown yeah so how about you do that third on yeah camera? good so, idea so guys i use a clear brow gel because my brows are naturally like darker because i'm like really i have like really brown hair like let me see i'm just gonna like distract while okay, that. like that's my natural hair like my natural hair is like super, super dark brown. So my eyebrows are dark brown. I use this clear brow gel from Anastasia. I literally love it. For me, I don't have to focus as much on this clear brow gel. So if I get put too much on, it won't make a difference. All right, guys. So my eyebrows are finally done. Sorry, I couldn't do that on camera. Yeah. It required a lot of concentration. But now we are going to be doing our next step, which happens to be priming our eyelids. So I have Ipsy because I got it for Christmas. And I got this little eyeshadow primer. Yes, and I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So, wait, it sounds like a makeup remover wipe. It does, that's so weird. This is my Tease, T-E-E-E-Z. Smell mine, what does it smell like? It smells like an airport. All right guys, so our eyelids are all primed up and I'm going to be going in with my favorite eyeshadow palette. This is the Tarte eyeshadow palette. I'm definitely more of like a neutral eyeshadow yeah, girly. Same, it's like Halloween. Yeah. Or like 4th of July for me. But I'm yeah. going with my beauty one. I got this in Ipsy and I've used it ever since. Uh, my most used shades are this brown, this brown, and this black. Can I do my waterline? And I'm going to go in with this shade. I actually mix two different shades for the base. I go in with Free Spirit, which is like one of the lightest ones, and then Force of Nature. So I take these and it's literally like if you're a painter, like an artist, I just go back and forth. And it gives me a really nice, subtle base to work with. It's just dark enough. I mean, it's barely dark at all, but yeah. um, I that's not the only thing I do. Like I said, this is just for the, the base. Look at this beautiful palette that I have. I, I should use this for the meet and greet. I might try the Mystic one for my waterline. So then guys, for my crease, I take the shade Wanderer. It's right there. It's like a, it's like a caramel brown. It's really pretty. Yeah. 
and I just take that, tap off the excess, and I focus it again, just like on my crease. Then I take the slanted brush, and I go into the black, and I like just like, I don't really do eyeliner, but like it makes it look like I have eyeliner, I just do a little tap like right there, and then blend it. I hit my waterline. So Callie's gonna do her waterline next to the big mirror. Um, I'm also going to do my waterline, but I don't go in with black because that, if you do too much black under your eye, it could actually make your eyes look smaller. So I go in with a, just like a brown. I just take some of this on a flat angled eyeshadow brush, tap off the excess, and I am going to try to do this with you guys. I actually, if I'm not wearing eyelashes, I do this step like on my lash line up top, but I'm just gonna do my waterline for today since I am gonna be wearing lashes. This is full glam. Yeah. So I just, I go like this. I look kind of crazy, but the lovely <laughs> makeup faces. I just do a little subtle amount and it also, yeah. it blends in with the brown eyeshadow I did and it's not too harsh, but it makes a little bit of a difference. And then guys, the most painful part is getting it on the top of my eyelid. I'm like tick with my eyelids. So I don't know if you guys can even tell the difference. Um, again, I just did my waterline. Um, it's nothing too dramatic, but I feel like it just kind of opens up my eyes more. Um, so that is all that I do for eyeshadow. So I have my waterline done. All right, so I'm always getting so many questions about how I do my lashes. So I'm taking the Ardell Wispies, and these are my favorite lashes. However, um, okay, doing lashes is not easy it took me a while to figure out how to do them correctly so i'm going to try to explain it to you guys to the best of my ability to take them off you have to do it very delicately i used to try to rip them off the uh, little plastic thing and it was not a good idea because yeah. they would be destroyed so you just you start at the very edge and you slowly very slowly you just kind of are you get them off do that part i also add highlight in my corner Callie's doing highlight. After I get the lashes off, this is gonna seem silly, but I always, I go like this. Massage them. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm like kind of bending them in half because otherwise they just default to this more like spread out shape that doesn't fit my eyeball. Yeah. So I'm just kind of getting them to have a nice curve so they go on easier. So I also do my lashes and I use Tarte to Latte Mascara and Bad Girl Bang. I use this like for my bottom lashes. I can't really do it on camera though, that's the thing. I kind of just go like make this motion uh -huh. on my bottom lashes and I go like that. So this is what I'm talking about guys. So I just pulled off the second lash. You see how it's like not curved. It's like kind of just flattish. That's why I go like this. And it might seem like super unnecessary, but for me it's very necessary because otherwise they just, they don't fit nicely. So anyways, after I am done. I step from the eye. They, yes, like if I sneeze or if I blink too hard, it's not fun. Then what I do is, okay, I'm gonna try to do this to the best of my ability. These are a tiny bit too big for me. So I take this teensy tiny little pair of scissors. I got it from like a little beauty kit. I am just going to trim the inner corner of the lashes because again, otherwise it would not be a perfect fit. So I'm gonna do that with both of them. And then after my bottom lashes, I just do obviously my top lashes. We don't even make it. And I do like thin coats and I do multiple coats of these things. Sometimes I'll end up adding too much and I'm like, oh, they get all chunky on me so then you guys as you could probably assume i gotta you know use some eyelash glue here so this is the duo strip lash adhesive glue and i like this one a lot because it's not just white you see that it's kind of like a charcoal gray and i prefer this because with white glue if you don't cover it with eyeliner or mascara like, you don't want to see just, like, random white splotches on your lashes. That's yeah. not cute, you know? And that's happened to me many times. If I had to give one tip of advice for lashes, like, if you've never done it before, obviously trim them to the shape of your eye, like I did. But also, you need to wait for the glue to get tacky. That's what I'm doing right now. If I were to try to put this on my eyeball right now, it would not work. You'd be slipping and sliding all over the place. So. And I'm gonna add this Ulta Beauty one to my bottom lashes. I just picked up the camera because we just had it at that one angle the whole time. So I'm doing this so you guys can kind of see what we're doing. Callie's doing her mascara. And once she's on with that, I am going to put this lash on. Glue's starting to dry. I'm taking my pink tweezers. I'm going to tilt my head back and just... See? 
So the key is to, again, use tweezers. Don't use your fingers. It's more precise with tweezers. And then don't put it too close to the inner corner because every time you blink, it's gonna drive you crazy. And then you just kind of wait a few seconds. One eye done, one eye still needs done. Guys, by the way, this is what my makeup stays in. It's not the cleanest thing, but a lot of this, like, like this and this down here, these aren't usually in here. I just wanted to show them for the video because like, I got these in Etsy and I just think they're so pretty. Here we go again. For some reason, my left eye is always harder. Even on this side. Okay, so here we go. Ow, I hit this. You thing. gotta get it as close to your natural lashes as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. Don't let me jerk off your head because you're gonna get punched for the camera if you do. Okay. Okay, so I'm just, then I just take my fingers and I kind of just gently tap them against my um lash line if they're not on your lash line like you're not doing it right they cannot be on your eyelid they literally have to be like with your natural lashes i used to make the mistake of like having them be a little bit above beautiful all right guys callie's going to assist with this i want to try something you done? Callie's going to be helping me film this part because it's eyeliner. So I'm going in with the Rare Beauty Felt Tip Liner. Look at that point. You guys ready? I'm not even going to explain. Just watch. Watch and learn. I'm getting them as close to my lashes as possible. Gonna be mascara. I'm going to now be going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And I'm gonna be hitting my lashes one more time with mascara. I'm gonna go to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. We love her. And this is only going on my top lashes. Yes, I use a different mascara for my bottom lashes. Honestly, this mascara is so lengthening. It would make my bottom lashes look weird. So I just use it for my top lashes. I don't put a ton of this on. I just basically do this to blend my natural lashes with my false lashes. Yeah. You my backup dancer? <laughs> All right, top lashes done. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> now for bottom lashes. I'm obsessed with this mascara. If you're looking for a good drugstore one, I love this. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. And I actually just noticed my two favorite mascaras are actually from the drugstore, L'Oreal and CoverGirl. So I am just saying, I think that um, drugstore mascaras are just as good as high end. I'm just getting my baby lashes. By the way, guys, while well, that, I'm gonna add some this little lip plumper on just to prep my lips, my lip combo that I do. And this is so juicy in the shade Suntin by ColourPop. Stunning. We love her. Alrighty, beautiful. My next step is actually like three things combined. Whoa. It is my lips. Wait, I have three things combined for lips too. Look oh. at that. So the first thing that I do, a little shameless self promo here, I go in with my Cotton Candy Bubblegum Lipsess Lip Balm. And for those nice. of you that don't know, Lipsess is my own brand of lip balm. They're all natural and organic, and you can find them on my Etsy shop, Purple Stars 02 hundreds of flavors to collect. And if you guys see this little mark on my lips, I don't know how much it's showing up on camera. Lucky bit my lip the other day. So it's like literally bruised. It hurts really bad. Um, Like even to put chapstick on. So yeah. Oh my God, this literally, it's so weird. This is giving a flashback to my childhood. I used to have this like chewable bubblegum Tylenol oh. when I was a kid. It smells exactly like that. So. I used a lip combo and I need one of these really works with the lip I'm gonna do, but for today I'm gonna do Forever Freeze by Context. I just do my lip warmer. And a perk with Lip Cest is that they're sweetened, so they taste good. Um, but yes, I use this as my base to moisturize my lips so they don't look all cracked and, you know, crusty. Um, but then, okay, this is my most favorite lip product ever. It's a lip liner by Urban Decay, and it's in the shade Manic. It's really tiny. I have to buy a new yeah. one. Basically, I'm just outlining my lips with this. And then the next thing I do is this lip stain by Better Tint. So I just finished with the lip liner. 
And the last thing I do is I go in with my Never Grow Up Heart Core Lipstick from Too Faced. So, uh, I'm gonna blow up this. So I use this Dior Lip Oil Glow. It's in the shade Raspberry. I love her. She's like the freaking best. She, I love when Kelly <laughs> refers she. to her inanimate objects as she. She's stunning. So my very last step, guys, is setting. Uh, can I use your Urban Decay Setter? Uh huh. But first, I love this Makeup Forever Professional Makeup Translucent Setting Powder. She's the best. She really pulled the makeup together. And boop, comes a little powder puff. We use her to snatch my face. So I usually use setting spray, but I usually use a Sephora brand. But I'm gonna try Kayla's today, cause oh. I can. And no one can stop me. Except Kayla, of course. Yes. Sorry, that's so attitude <laughs> Brat. 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 Oh wait, yeah. She's a brat. I'm just over here. Like, go ahead, continue. Continue being a brat. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. She's just, she's trying my setting yeah. spray versus can hers. Can I it? Yeah, that's fine. Where go for it. it. <laughs> and no one can stop me. Where is it? <laughs> How many sprays do you use? Just do like one, two, three, and you have to do it from an angle. Or I'm not an angle, but like a distance. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I should do this too. Thank you One, so much. two, three, they're gonna come back to me. All right, guys, so this is all we do for our makeup routine as if we did like three steps. That's all we do. One, all two, we three. Do. This is three. like an hour long. No, but that is all the steps that we do for our full glam makeup routine. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more content like it, then make sure you give it a big giant thumbs up. And we will talk to you all in the next video. Bye. Mwah.